I've already told you how Daniel Dennett responds to this argument. Would you like to hear how Richard Dawkins responds? Like Dennett, Dawkins doesn't deny either premise of the argument. Instead, he merely questions the theological significance of the argument's conclusion. He writes, even if we allow the dubious luxury of arbitrarily conjuring up a terminator to an infinite regress and giving it a name, there is absolutely no reason to endow that terminator with any of the properties normally ascribed to God. Omnipotence, omniscience, goodness, creativity of design, to say nothing of such human attributes as listening to prayers, forgiving sins, and reading innermost thoughts. Now, notice that Dawkins doesn't dispute that the argument proves the existence of a beginningless, uncaused, timeless, spaceless, changeless, immaterial, enormously powerful, personal creator of the universe. He merely complains that this creator hasn't also been shown to be omnipotent, omniscient, creative of design, listening to prayers, forgiving sins, and reading innermost thoughts. To which I say, so what? The argument doesn't aspire to prove such things. It would be a bizarre form of atheism, indeed one not worth the name, that believed that there exists a beginningless, uncaused, timeless, spaceless, changeless, immaterial, enormously powerful, personal creator of the universe, who may also, for all we know, possess the properties listed by Dawkins. If Al-Ghazali's argument is right, then Dawkins' atheism is philosophically bankrupt. <laughs>